ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு சாம் ஐஎல்ஸ் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஆல் ஐ பிலீவ் தட் யூஆர் சீரியஸ்லி ப்ரிப்பேரிங் ஃபார் த ஐஎல்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் வெல் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் டீல்ஸ் அபவுட் ரைட்டிங் டாஸ்க் ஒன் ஸோ ஐம் கோயிங் டு கிவ் யூ அ பன்ச் ஆஃப் வேர்ட்ஸ் விச் வுட் ரியலி ஹெல்ப் யூ டு கெட் பேண்ட் செவன் ப்ளஸ் இன் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அட்டம்ப்ட் அட் செல்ஃப் ஸோ விதவுட் ஃபர்தர் டிலே லெட்ஸ் கெட் பேக் இன் டு டுடேஸ் டாபிக் டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கிரைப் யூ சர்டன் திங்ஸ் First of all, you should understand that academic writing task 1 is report writing and you should not include your own opinion. It is just all about describing a diagram. The diagram may be bar chart, pie chart, mixed graph, table, anything. But the thing is that the examiner does not demand your own opinion or suggestion. So what are you going to do? You are going to just describe. Describe the diagram. highs and lows describe the pros and cons describe all about the details in the diagram first of all you need to understand writing task 1 in academic is all about describing the diagram the examiner does not demand your own opinion or your own suggestion so the thing is that you are just going to describe the details which is given in the diagram whether it may be a line chart bar graph by chart anything but the thing is that you are just going to describe and again in describing you need to understand you cannot describe each and every detail which is available in the diagram because sometimes diagram may be very long and you need to analyze you need to analyze and find out which is the highest value and which is the lowest value and accordingly you have to write so i'm going to reveal you the word which will really help you to write the trends what is trends you need to understand that well while comparing while comparing the chart whether it may be a line chart or bar chart you may observe certain increase or certain decrease or certain things will remain constant so how to write according to the examiner point of view so i'm going to give you a bunch of synonyms that would really help you to write the word first increase increase is a very important word in academic writing task 1 so here are the synonyms for this please take a piece of paper and pen and write down these words increase upward so when the line graph goes upward use these kind of words rise r i s e rise jump grow climb increase soar s o a r soar These are all the words that you can actually use as the synonym instead of the word increase. How many times you write the same word increase increase increase? Please do understand repetition is the very biggest enemy in the IELTS exam because if you fall any repetition category your score will be 6.5. So don't use the same words again and again instead use these kind of words. For that you need to do the memory technique. you need to write down all these words in the vocabulary journal just revise all these words try to implement these words while do the model test or while you are preparing for the exam so that you will not repeat the words repetition will drastically reduce your marks so don't do that clear right let's move on to the next word so what is the opposite of the increase decrease decrease is also a very common word that you need to write again and again in the ielts academic writing task 1 so i'm going to give you a bunch of synonyms that would really help you for the word decrease fall f a l l drop decline decrease go down plummet punch so the thing is that p l u n g e punch plummet p l u m m e t plummet so use these kind of vocabulary so that you will fall in band 7 category always try to use this words along with the adjectives how to use this words along with the adjectives let me explain it very clearly to you so the next word that i'm going to give you is that a bunch of adverbs what are all adverbs adverbs are the words which really help you to explain the diagram very clearly for example you may find a sharp decline a sharp decline which would really give you the marks decline means downward that you know and sharp decline means very sharp clear so if you really explain the words with the adverbs that would really help you 
So here are the bunch of adverbs that I am going to give you. Slightly, slowly, gradually, considerably, rapidly, significantly, sharply, quickly, steeply. These are all the important adjectives that you need to learn for writing academic task 1. So when you combine these words along with the increase or the decrease word, then for sure you will fall under band 7 word. So the thing is that you need to practice this adverbs along with the synonyms. Thereby you will fall under band 7 plus and you need to write and practice again and again. Again, you need to understand writing academic task 1 is the describing thing. So you need someone guidance to really help you for that. In SAM IELTS, we have helped hundreds and hundreds of students to clear the IELTS exam very easily. We have a standard unique method that helps a lot of people to clear the IELTS exam in the first attempt itself. We have online courses, one on one live sessions, group sessions and so on. So if you are struggling to get band 7 plus in the IELTS exam but still want to go abroad, please try to approach us www.samielts.in or our team WhatsApp number 904314084 to book a free demo. There is other one thing important that I wanted to mention you in this video which is actually called as the stability. What do you mean by stability? Sometimes you will actually find the graph to say remain which means it will be flattened and you need to mention that very clearly. So, not only find the increase, decrease, but also you find one thing which is called as the constant, which is stay remind. So, while writing, you need to use these words appropriately in describing the trends, describing the diagram very clearly to the examiner. And remember, there is no conclusion for the academic writing task 1 because the examiner doesn't remind you any opinion or any personal suggestion. So, no conclusion and no personal suggestions in the academic writing task 1. So, what you are going to do in the writing task 1 is that you are going to describe the diagram. You have 4 body paragraphs in the writing task 1. In the first body paragraph, you actually do the paraphrasing version of the question. In the second paragraph, you actually write the overall observation of the question. In the third body paragraph, you actually describe the similarities which is available in the diagram. And in the fourth paragraph, you are going to write the differences in the question. That's all. So no personal opinion, no personal suggestion, nothing and no conclusion, no introduction. Clear? So this is the method that you are going to follow to write a band 7 plus academic writing task 1. Well, I found this video is helpful to you and if you really want to score band 7 plus, visit www.samielts.in. With this note, I am signing off for today and I will meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. If you really like this video, please like share and subscribe to our channel. Share this video to your friend who is actually an IELTS friend and they find this information very useful. Thank you.